Welcome back to Dabbles and DIY. Today we're going to be doing a very simple, hopefully simple, and fun project to make fun little decorative accessories around your house. We're going to be playing with concrete slash cement and we're going to be using molds to create various things around the house that you might use to store your jewelry or just as an aesthetic piece. I have a couple of projects, a few projects lined up that I'm just going to talk you guys through how I do them and some of the fun ways to just like make this your own. We're not only going to be playing with like concrete slash cement, I'm also going to be playing with, like I said, molds, but we're also going to be playing with cement oxide, which is basically what you would use to color concrete. So we're going to be also experimenting. Without further ado, let us get into these cement projects. Okay, so to begin, I am just mixing white cement with water i like white cement because i feel like if you're doing colors it's just so much easier to mix and you know get a good look without trying to cancel out like a darker concrete color but i have used it before and i'm using a spoon because it's easy for disposal and i'm just dumping all the concrete in there and really trying to work it and just like remove all the clumps and the, and the lumps because yeah you don't want lumps it's not gonna work out with lumps and I'm just mixing it and just playing with the proportion until I get the desired consistency and here's the rule with concrete especially for DIY stuff is you're really looking for that pancake batter you know feel it has to be smooth and unified not too watery but still loose so just remember Pancake, pancake, pancake. Next up is the cement oxide. This is just a colorful powder that you mix in with the actual wet mix of your cement. And I'm using this like dark red color because I felt like it would lighten to a dusty pink. And for the first project, I'm actually not going to mix it all the way through. I'm actually gonna make it like, leave it to be streaky and marbly like this. And I'm just using an oval uh, trinket tray mold, which is like the standard, most common one that I keep seeing. And I've poured that in now. I'm just mixing this for the next project because I was doing them at the same time, um, which you will see just now. And now I'm just mixing this and just making sure that it's smooth on top and shaking it and removing bubbles. And here's the next day. It has fully dried and fully cured and I love how this looks. It's so pretty. Well, as soon as I get it out of there, <laughs> then you guys can see what I mean. And now, before we finish it off, I'm just gonna grab these bumps that I bought on Amazon. I don't actually know what the official name is, just to keep it from scratching the furniture. And here it is so pretty so beautiful and now we're back to the original mix which i am now fully mixing and adding white because i thought that would make it look more like a dusty pink i don't know if that worked and this is our mold which i absolutely love i love this arch thing i'm so obsessed with it right now and so i had to make like a deco tray from this and I'm just pouring in the mixture. Looks kind of like food, I have to say. Kind of looks like yogurt. But please, 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 ladies and gentlemen, do not eat concrete, okay? Uh, and I'm just uh, smoothing it out and moving it around just to make sure that it's flat and everything. Because ultimately, this is supposed to be a tray. So this would be the bottom of our tray. Uh, like the underside of it so we're just trying to make sure that it's as smooth as possible and I'm just 
flicking and like hitting it and smoothing it because this gets rid of air bubbles which is very important and uh, this is the next day it is dry and cured I don't know if dry is the right word and it's so pretty I love this dusty pink color All right, I'm back wearing protective gear this time because that cement dust is real, okay? And this time we are mixing our cement with acrylic paint, another way to color white cement or even other colors of cement, honestly. So we're basically doing the marble look but in black and white because I was really curious to see how that would come out. So as you can see, you're gonna see this a lot in this video. I'm basically smoothing it out and I'm actually gonna start just like bumping and flicking it just to make sure that I get those air bubbles out because that is the one thing that will make or break the structural integrity of whatever it is you're creating. So you have to do that. And it has dried the next day and um, here she is. I also like it, not as much as the pink, but I definitely like this marbly effect. It's something that I want to keep doing. And now we are doing this Pisces coaster. And this time I'm just pouring in the white mix, like with nothing else in it, no colors or anything. And I'm just using the spatula to just flatten it out. And again, I'm just flicking and bumping it just to get those air bubbles. You can actually see them rising to the top and you're just trying to get as many of those out as you possibly, possibly, you maybe can. And now I have this gorgeous, I want to say like Roman building mold. It's so pretty. And I was really excited about this one. It's the mold that started this whole concrete mold journey for me, honestly. And again, because there's a lot more in this and it's a bit more concentrated, I'm just trying to do as much of this air bubbling out. And here it is. It has been baked by the air. Bruh. And here it is. And you're gonna get a two for one here because I basically, spray painted all the molds the coasters and um the little candle holder tea light holder together and this is our finished products so nice so pretty i'm so happy with it All right guys, so those were my DIY concrete decor items. What did you guys think? Did you like it? What was your favorite? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you are going to try any of these. And so I'm very happy with that. I'm happy with all the items. I won't lie though, my favorite, 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 favorite piece is the marbled pink tray like it came out so pretty i wasn't even expecting that like when i watched videos that showed the whole like marble veining thing like casa refined and all these other channels i thought it would be hard but honestly it was easy and it's literally the best piece like i am kicking a trinket tray to the curb <laughs> because of this new tray i will put the links down below to all the things that i bought and all the molds and where i got them so that is all i have for you guys this week i might have said that already but i hope you guys enjoyed this little journey with me i think i need to get a manicure because good lord that concrete did things to my hands as you saw and i don't think i want to see cement again for a while so yeah i don't know what my next project is going to be but it cannot be cement for a while cannot look at it again honestly 
I'm gonna go clean my patio because really truly it looks like a war zone. So thank you for watching. Subscribe so that you don't miss any exciting, fun, messy episodes. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.